the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships, Houston, Texas, USA, as the number four seed, Pete Sampras, gets ready to take on an old rival, the number two seed, Andre Agassi. Just moments ago, a huge hand for Andre Agassi, who is followed by Pete Sampras coming onto center court at the Westside Tennis Club here in Houston, Texas. A big moment for tennis in the United States as Sampras and Agassi face off for the 33rd time in their illustrious careers. Good evening, everybody. Barry McKay along with my colleague Leif Shires and excitement in the air, Leif, as Sampras and Agassi face off in this semifinal. A big night for tennis here in the local area, but certainly a big night for tennis because these guys have played a lot of tennis over the years. Now they have and uh, arguably the greatest player of all time going against perhaps the most popular player of all time, Andre Agassi, really beloved. I think uh, Pete Sampras setting records that I think many people are going to have trouble equaling uh, if ever reach, well, surpassing Roy Emerson in Grand Slam singles title. So, Two of the Graves Giants going at it. A huge hand for both players, Leaf, and certainly the question of the night is, can Sampras make a comeback on a clay tennis court? I think the fans here think that Agassi certainly is a slight favorite tonight. Yeah, I think you have to give Agassi the edge. He's going to use his ground strokes tonight. He's going to try and blunt Sampras' attack, although Pete Sampras admittedly has served well here this week, and he's played well on the clay, so let's not discount him. He can certainly put it together. He's won the Italian Open on clay, uh, and again, it's pretty quick out here that he can serve and volley a little bit as also. So, Pete Sampras, 30, 30 years old, out of Los Angeles, California, tied for 25th on the champion's race, but again, moving up and playing better and better every time he gets out on the tennis court. He does look fit, no question about that. Sampras hitting some ground strokes. A look at his road here to the semifinals. 7-5 in the third against Bacek, and then an easy match in the second round over Puerta. And his old rival, Todd Martin, he beats 7-6 in a fairly tough second set, but I thought a very impressive win for Sampras over Martin. Yeah, it was. And again, Martin and Sampras, they're really playing hardcore tennis on a clay court. Sampras is going to win that kind of encounter. But uh, it'll be a little bit different for Sampras tonight going up against this man, Andre Agassi. I mean, this is a guy who really possesses the skills to deliver some big-time clay court tennis. 31 years old, the most famous resident of Las Vegas, Nevada, and again, seventh on the champion's race after winning two titles this year. Yeah. One in Scottsdale and down in Miami, winning the Masters Series title there. So he's delivering some of his best tennis in the twilight of his career. A look at Agassi's road to the semifinals as he strokes that forehand. Yausnia, a tough match there in the first round, 6-4 in the final set, and then a straight set win over Lee, and certainly an easy win last night in the quarterfinals. And so Agassi comes in here fit, ready to go. Now, you mentioned a couple of titles, Leaf. He almost won that match we covered in San Jose, where Leighton Hewitt, the number one player in the world, was down match point to Agassi and somehow got out of trouble. Yeah, and that may have been one of our best matches of the year. Agassi never losing serve couple of match points yet Hewitt ended up winning uh, so he has delivered on all the doubts remember the early doubts about his wrist and whether he would you know have a career after that yet here he is playing great tennis so great to see him back playing beautifully well these are the two veterans but earlier today the youngster from America Andy Roddick in the semifinals playing a sensational match on this same court this was first set action and Roddick looked very strong staying in the backcourt against Guillermo Correa from Argentina. Watch the drop shot, good touch from Roddick. But then in the second set, the Argentine got very hot, let five love, and somehow Agassi stayed in this match. I should say Roddick stayed in this match. Now, uh, full marks to Correa for hanging in against Roddick. Roddick was delivering some big tennis, but the Argentine is an up and comer, and he really oh. tested Roddick. He did something that no one has done in two years here in Houston. And that was take a set off the uh, American. Now it was match point for Roddick, and the ball goes wide. And Andy Roddick, the 19-year-old American sensation, moved into the finals with a 6-2 in the final set. So he awaits the winner as we look at the draw, Leaf. Yeah, this has been a great event for American tennis. Roddick in the finals, and two Americans squaring off in the others. Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi will have an All-American final. Center court, the Westside Tennis Club in Houston, Texas, an absolute packed house here. A little over 4,800 strong. The Davis Cup was played about 100 yards behind us on the grass courts, and this young man, Pete Sampras, played in that match about two weeks ago. And so the folks in Houston seeing some great big-time tennis here in the spring of 2002. 
Sampras taking some last minute warm up serves and Leap, I think that's the key. Can Sampras serve well enough tonight to put Agassi on the defensive early? Well, as we saw in that U.S. Open match, Sampras took care of his serve so well, and, and that's really why he won that match. Four tiebreak sets, quarterfinals of the U.S. Open last year, and that's how he got through. Can he do it on clay? We're going to find out. It's 81 degrees, a little bit humid here in Houston, and certainly the winds have died down from this afternoon, but folks, it is windy again here on center court. A very strong wind coming from behind Andre Agassi. We'll watch it closely as we look at the tail of the tape in the career of these two great players. Well, Agassi adding two titles this year to his total of 51. Sampras, 63 tournaments. Remember, he hasn't won a tournament since 2000, winning at Wimbledon. So he's in something of a drought, but look at the slams. Pete Sampras, 13, and Weeks at number one. Also, the number one player in the world at that record when these guys uh, have got hefty bank accounts, I'd say, Barry. Not too bad. A little over 60, where are we here? 64, 66 million bucks total. I got a couple of silver trophies. I'll trade them, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you something. This, this is a big night for tennis and just unbelievable excitement in the air. Certainly, Agassi with that big win at the French, though, and I know Pete Sampras would love to have that title under his belt. He has yet to win there, and this tennis court tonight, French clay. Brought over from France for this particular tournament last year. We are ready to go. Best of three sets, semifinal action, Sampras to serve. First game, first set. It's wide. on this clay. That will go wide. And Agassi draws first blood. 15 love. Norm Chris, one of the most experienced chair umpires out of Scottsdale, Arizona, in the chair. Sampras, love 15. First few games or the first game on your own serve leaf a little tough to play. I think particularly for Sampras here serving into the wind. So a little bit of an edge in the opening game perhaps for Agassi. He's going to be able to see a serve that's going to be buffeted by the wind. He's going to get a swing at it. That will go well over the baseline. 15 all. Yeah, you get that uh, that ball up into the jet stream, and that wind behind Agassi is going to carry long. So you've got to play with spin out here. Really try and dominate the ball. Bring it down in, inside that baseline. You can see the wind there swirling Sampras's shirt. It's going to be tough to concentrate for these two players. Yes. Nice rolled over backhand from Sampras. 30-15. And I notice Sampras is sporting something of a beard here this week. We yeah. haven't seen that. From him in a while, Agassi trying to slide into that backhand. <laughs> Sampras saw the opening, went for it, misses the forehand. Yeah, and I'm not sure if it's significant or not, but he's going with the facial here, but I haven't seen Bridget Wilson here, so if she were here, perhaps she'd say something. Bridget Wilson, his bride of That's about right. a year and a half. That's wide. Sampras cranking it up early, 128 miles per hour, but it was a fall. Agassi catches the tape. Sampras now with game point. Pete staying way over to the left now on that baseline. Look at that. Service position, trying to get that big twist serve out wide. Now he'll move to the center. Oh. 
great get. That's a better volley from Sampras. And so Sampras holds in a spectacular lunging backhand volley. He leads it one game to love. Well, I think this is the right play from Sampras. Blend in a little bit of serve and volley. And you got to play tough at the net. Agassi's always going to test you. That looked like a grass court volley to me out of Wimbledon. Beautiful stretch from Sampras. You can hear this crowd. They are evenly divided at the moment. Not an empty seat in this 4,800 seat center court here at the West Side Tennis Club. Now Andre Agassi, two-time winner this year on the tour, steps up in the second game of the first set. It's over to a little quick. As much as they've played, Leaf, I think both these guys just a little bit tight here at the start of this match. I think so. These matches mean a lot more yeah. than we can know. Exactly. <laughs> these guys have so much history between each other. Net court just catches the top and does not make it. And on the right, Darren Cahill. Agassi's newest coach, and of course on his left is strength coach and longtime close friend Gil Reyes. In fact, Andre's son is named Jaden Gill Agassi. Oh, Agassi going for a big second serve. First double of the night and puts him down 1530 early here on his first service game. I've always felt Leaf that was his big strength, the running forehand cross court. Well, particularly against Agassi, he almost lures Agassi to come into that forehand because he loves to gun it back cross court. That now, time it paid off for him. Double break point, Sampras. Second serve opportunity. Sampras with the wind at his back now. He comes in. And it works. And so Sampras has broken in the second game of the first set. He just kind of sensed that he would take that second serve. Well, again, serving into the wind, Agassi. Sampras is able to get on that second serve and hit with some effect on the chip. And that was the difference. That is the only way Pete Sampras is going to win the French championships ever if he keeps using that tactic. Well, I don't think he's going to win the French staying in the back. That is for sure. Go long. Love 15. Jose Hagueras, Pete Sampras' new coach on clay, of course, was so successful with Michael Chang. I just wonder whether Hagueras is going to impart some of that wisdom to Pete Sampras. Come in a little more. Come on. I think he's got to play his game. You know, you can't leave behind what you do best. You've got to stick with it somewhere, somehow. Certainly at the most important times, you've got to do what you do best. Sampras moving over now to the center for that second serve. Goes down the center. It's a let. That's long. Sampras over hitting, and now Agassi with a big opportunity here in the third game. Love 30. Well, that's the effect the wind has. When you have the wind behind your back and you try to flatten out a shot, if you don't hit it just right, you're going to get some air underneath it. It's going to carry long. As you can see, the flags not like they were this afternoon. Much better 
wind conditions tonight. Not nearly so drastic. Oh, yes. Just too good. And the seven time Wimbledon champion, Pete Sampras. Boy, he's hitting that forehand well, cross court. Mm. Again, Sampras with that way out wide stance on the baseline. Too good. Uh, so Sampras is able to equalize 30 all. His forehand is right in the groove. Agassi with a tremendous return. Big serve down the middle from Sampras, 128. So from love 30 down, now Sampras with a chance to hold. It's a fault. Andre points to the mark well over the service line. And there it is. Sampras holds. Pete Sampras now playing some brilliant tennis on play. Three games to love. The Wimbledon champion on grass looking pretty good on clay tonight. Pete Sampras, three love. Let's have a look at that Sampras serve, Leap. Oh, so fluid again. Look at how he loads that energy in the legs. Great extension up. And again, he sees the ball so well with his eyes, and his racket is ready to go when the ball is right at its apex. He's ready to pull the trigger. He really puts the parts together beautifully. And of course, he backs it up well when the point is played. Everybody's talked for years about the great Sampras serve, but as you just mentioned, Leaf, it's in the legs, it's in that power that he gets through the body, not just his arm. Beautiful rhythm on that stroke. Love three. Oh. Error from Agassi, his eighth of the match. Agassi has yet to hit a winner. It's wide. Andre always waits for those ball kids to be just in the right position, and he serves a double fall. The second of the match. Agassi now. With nine unforced errors, including that last double fall. Sampras. Yeah, Sampras has not given away much, and he's been striking that backhand beautifully. And I feel when he's hitting that backhand well, he's at his top, top game. Oh. Agassi out wide. Ace number one. And what a time for it. Down 1540. He needed that one, Leap. Call. Sampras has another look. Can't 
find the mark. Looks over at the Deuce. service lines person there. Yeah, it's that, Deuce. that one landed right on the line, yeah. and it really skidded. And that was the reason why Sampras oh. couldn't control it. These are crucial points for Agassi to get into oh. this first set. Oh. Empress all over the return. Leaf, he was about 15 feet inside the baseline as he struck that back in. Well, he anticipates this one. I mean, his racket is back before the ball has even hit the Ooh. court. The timing is immaculate. Break point. Let. It's a let. No net court judge, as you can see. This electronic device on that net will call those lets for Norm Christ, our umpire. First serve. No, that goes wide, and Sampras forces yet another error. It is four games to love. Well, that is one thing that is tough about playing in the wind, is changing directions, as Agassi tried to do there. The ball just doesn't stay on line, and Agassi makes another unforced error. I mean, I would not have picked this start. I really felt that both these guys were going to start out even, but it's Sampras who has uh, gained the big edge here in the opening set. That is a nice serve and volley point. I've seen Pete Sampras play a lot of clay court tennis league. Those are the best four games of clay court tennis I've seen him play in a long time. Yeah, certainly a new tactic we're seeing from Sampras. I mean, he is almost 10 feet from that center mark. Now on the second serve, he comes to the middle. Finally, a winner from Agassi, only his second of the match. Well, here is the classic forehand. Great preparation. Again, that uncoiling. It's become the standard shot for every 21st yeah. century player. It's like standard equipment for the guys now. And this is the guy who really sets the standard for that forehand drive. Second serve, 15 all. Wow. No, catches the tape. You know, Sampras really just seems to focus in so well when he plays Andre Agassi. I think when he talks about finding the motivation again to play well, one thing he can do is play Agassi a lot because he seems to play his best tennis when Agassi is across the net. Oh. Of course, the question here today, Barry, is can he maintain this level that he's established now? I mean, he's hitting the ball beautifully. He nails that return right down the two-hander. Well, if Agassi is to have any chance to get in this first set, now is the time. He's got a break right here. Down two breaks, 30 all. Just long and wide. Is up double fault number one. And now a big opportunity. Break point, Agassi. <laughs> Sir Volley. That's his strength, Lee. And when he's behind in the score, I think it's a good tactic. 
puts the pressure on Agassi right off the bat. And that time, that serve stretched out Agassi. He wasn't able to tee off like he did on the second serve. Who says you can't serve and volley on slow red clay tennis courts? It's Deuce. It's a let. First serve. Center 120 miles per hour. And that's one of his best serves over that low part of the net, right into the tee with plenty of pace. And there it is, Sampras out of trouble. Pete Sampras leads five love, first set. Can he keep it going? Agassi serves when we return. Today, live on one, the NBA playoffs. After the second seed, San Antonio Spurs blew out the Seattle Supersonics 102 75. The series is poised on a knife edge. With the score at 2 1 to the Spurs, the Sonics know it's their last chance to level the series. The Spurs just one game away from the second round. Live, the NBA San Antonio versus Seattle, 12 30 today on one. Riding to Olympic Park, where the Storm are ready to tarnish their shining armor. He goes straight from dummy half, stepping, he will score! Then at 5.30, the Roosters have got a wake-up goal for the Panthers. Picked up by Anthony Minutello, now we're off the track beat. Wessa can't stop him, and Minutello gets his second. At 7.30, the Raiders are ready to repel the Sharks. Here's Brett Finch dancing and weaving. They might not be able to pick him up, he fires a pass over the top, picked up by Shabovsky. If that's not enough rugby league for you, we've got analysis of the Rabbitohs Broncos Clash. Plus, we'll keep you up to date with all the national and international sports news. Seven hours of spectacular rugby league. It's NRL Super Saturday, live from 2.30. Five games to love Pete Sampras as Agassi serves now to stay in this first set and amazingly enough in the 33 times actually this is the 33 times they have played as we just found out from our good friend Greg Sharko the communications director for the ATP tour there has never been a love set by either player amazing statistic and only one more great stat from our good friend Greg Sharko. 88 previous sets. That is amazing. And so Agassi now trying to keep a record intact as he serves. Try and hold here. Look out. Amazing. Little luck on that shot, Lee. He's hitting against the wind. That didn't hurt. I don't think Andre's thinking about that, is it? I, I think don't he's think he's about... even thought about that love game. Oh. 
legacy. 30 love. A big forehand, and now Andre Agassi at game point trying to avoid that six love, which has never happened before between these two. It's wide. Right on the right on the surface line, jumps over Sampras's racket. That's who Agassi holds in a big hand. Well, Greg, Greg Sharko can go back to his computer and crank that in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. And Agassi is saying no one bagels Andre Agassi. Oh, man, that jumped high. <laughs> Sampras now 5-1. Serving for the first set. Second serve, 15 love. Yeah, that's good aggressive serving. Sampras has always said, well, the measure of a great server is not just a big first serve, it's how effective that second serve is as well. That's good. That will go wide. Well, that service return was something special, wasn't it? Another pretty good player through the history of tennis Jack Kramer always said show me a great second serve and I'll show you a champion 15 all we were talking about Roddick having a great second serve mm. is his second serve better than Sampras's now awful tough service ace number one for Sampras right down the center 133 miles per hour Open just last year in an epic encounter. Tie breaks all over the place. Sampras winning that one and a service ace out wide, number two. And now Sampras at set point. set of this U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships semifinal. And what a surprise, Lee. As we walked the grounds today, I don't think one out of ten people would have picked Sampras to play this well tonight. Yeah, no, he's come out red hot, and you know, the last four times these guys have played on Clay, Agassi has won three of those, so he had to be coming in as a clear favorite, but Sampras has turned it around. He's played his best tennis right out of the blocks. The best tennis I've seen him play on clay in a long time. All right, what does Agassi have to do right now to get back into the match? Yeah, he, well, he was making too many unforced errors. That really put him in a deep hole. And I think he's starting to find his rhythm a little bit. He started putting more forehands into play. But I think he has to have faith in just moving Sampras around. I think more of the court is going to get open the more balls that he can put into play. So I, he, he's going to just have to, you know, adjust his radar and start finding the range a little bit. And like you said, it... it Patience is a great word because Andre obviously down now has to keep that ball coming back as often as he can. I think in his mind, Ag Ag or Agassi is saying to himself, can Sampras continue to play this well? 
And I'll tell you what, if he does, uh, he could win this match. I think we saw Sampras play so well in the Davis Cup. And of course, he got out to a two-set to love lead against Alex Koretsch and lose it. And you can see wow. first set, a key set when these two guys square off. And he played so well getting out to that lead against Spain and against Alex Korecha, and then somehow he lost those last three sets. Yeah. Just wasn't able to maintain his level. Another test for him today. Drop shot a little high. Look out. Oh, yes. This crowd eating this matchup. Great anticipation when this tournament started that these two would reach the semis. And I think Sampras is going to have to remember what he ate before this match because he should be eating it before every match. I mean, he is looking great, looking sharp. Finally, Agassi gets the error. You sense now this crowd is getting behind Agassi. They want this thing to keep going. Yeah, I think the crowd wants to see as much tennis as they can. for the angle. Andy Roddick, the sensational young 19-year-old American waiting in the finals for the winner of this match. Yeah, this is like an age group match, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 30 and over. <laughs> Going at it. One of the few miss hits from Sampras. The wind is picked up again. Yeah, it's, it's gusty. It yep. has its moments where it really gales. And it'll calm down and pick up again. But this afternoon, like you said, it was Texas tornadoes yeah. of clay swirling around this court. Not quite as much wind here tonight. I just see mixing it up well now. Chance for Agassi now to hold. So Agassi holds in the first game of the second set. Well, this U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships, a USTA event, one of the great events that the United States Tennis Association puts on on a year-round basis, along with that fantastic big U.S. Open at Flushing Meadows. But this one is a big one, the Clay Court title. And some... Big champions have won this event starting way back in 1910 in Omaha, Nebraska. This is where that tournament started. And it's moved around some, hasn't it? I mean, I know that it was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where I grew up, and yeah. I ball boyed when it was in Milwaukee. Service ace from Sampras, his third of the match. Spent a couple of years in Indianapolis, and here it is in Houston. You know what's interesting, Lee? Omaha, Nebraska, the birthplace of Andy Roddick. That's where this tournament started. I bet you Roddick doesn't even know that. We'll have to ask him about that tomorrow. Well, he's never lost a match in this tournament. <laughs> so, I mean, it has to feel good about playing it. That's wide. Second serve. Wow. Good return. As we mentioned, some past champions at this event. Jim Courier back in 98, Andre Agassi, Lendl Connors Ash. Geez, even a guy named McKay won this thing back in Harry. 1960. Were you here, Leaf? Oh, my gosh. No, I think well, I was a year old, Bear. Well, we missed two big names, Pancho Gonzalez and Bill Tilden. Certainly Gonzalez, I think, maybe the greatest player of all times. Sampras down the center. Now, that's a pretty hefty 130 miles an hour. Wind aided. That hit and just tore through the clay. 
Now, interesting, the way Sampras is using that baseline leap, he's way over. And now he moves to the center for that second serve. Why do you think he's doing that? Well, anytime you can threaten your opponent, I think by putting him off, creating some space on a tennis court, you're gonna perhaps gain an edge. Bad bounce right off the line. The cross lines on this court are very similar, if not the exact same lines that they use at the French Championships. There you see them, little tiles. Yeah, and it's when interesting, the, isn't it? Yeah, when the ball hits those, it really jumps. Yeah, it really takes off. It's all... line it skips isn't it amazing very how many times these guys have hit the line yeah I mean every time they hit the line it's like point over point over well that's the bonus you get as that ball hits those little tiles it really skips imagine being that accurate <laughs> to hit that ball on that about two and a half inches of earth it's a let Turn from Agassiz. Caught Sampras coming in. Yeah, and he just had a great feel for that coming to the forehand. And that's from having played each other so many times. Sampras just sensing that Sampras was going to come in that direction. He was there with the forehand. Out wide. Agassiz's going to check this mark. Let's have a look. Go ahead. I mean, I'm not going to make the call. Yeah. Here's Norm Christ. <laughs> Calling it good. Agassi does not bother. Ace number four for Sampras. All right, Lee. If the chips are down and you're playing Agassi, which side do you serve? His backhand or his forehand? Uh, I think you got to serve body. <laughs> right into the body. That's yeah, a good play. Way too good off both wings. It's like you, can, you know, Barry Bonds. You just got to put him, you know, walk him. Don't let him, yeah. you know, take a swing at it. Look we'll go wide. Sampras holds. We are at one game all. Second set. You know, big game here for Agassi, serving into the wind. Just got to try and take care of it. Well, let's have a look now at our first set statistics. And again, Agassi really getting into problems with the unforced errors. That's where the breakdown happened. Sampras took advantage on the break points. A good set of tennis from Sampras. Again, really playing his best. Look out. That's long. And Sampras again using that forehand as a big weapon. Again, steps up and drives the backhand. No. Agassi stretched out on the forehand. Like Sampras, he is great on the move off the forehand side. Yes, you can hear it hit. Ace number three. Go long. 
to see quietly now clawing his way back into this match. And again, finding that rhythm off the ground. Sampras has shown him that, hey, you're going to have to do something more with the ball than just put it in the middle of the court. So Agassi is using the range finder to gradually work the ball closer to the back baseline or the sideline. Stays in. We've seen that shot so many times from Agassi. As he moves in, he gets caught on the baseline, but he doesn't mind hitting that half volley. Didn't work for him that time. Center service line, ace number four. And Aurora goes up for Agassi. This crowd wants him to win the second set. Agassi up now, second set, two to one. Well, looking back to 1999, Leaf, this was the French final. Agassi against Medvedev. And this was some kind of a match over there at Roland Garros. Well, Medvedev was playing his absolute best That's tennis, right. no, and he won the two opening sets. And really, Agassi was in dire straits and looking like he might get upset. But no, he found a way back. It was a long road back, winning the last three. But he did it. Four, three, and four. And he hoisted the trophy. A tremendous comeback after being down two sets to love as Agassi won the French championship back in 99. But now we're in Houston, Texas, as Agassi takes on his old rival, Pete Sampras. Sampras with the first set. Agassi up now in the second. 2 1. This red clay that you're watching has been imported from that very area. In France, it is the identical surface to what they use for the French Open. These people in Houston don't mess around. This is authentic red European clay. And of course, at the West Side Tennis Club here, they've got all four surfaces of the slams. Rebound ace from Australia. Grass, hard courts, the plex of play from the US Open. Well, Pete Sampras just played a Davis Cup match here two weeks ago on the grass courts about 100 feet behind where we're sitting. Lost a very tough match to Alex Carreccia of Spain after being up two sets to love. Selects to serve and volley, gets past. Well, not a bad time to try and serve and volley on the second serve because he's ahead in the score. He's up 30 love. Take a chance. That time Agassi was ready. But again, Sampras still with the edge in the score. Now he's saying, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a first serve in here. Agassi blocks it back. Well, for a long time, Agassi held the mantle of best service return in the world. I think Leighton Hewitt may have gained a slight edge, but he can still deliver. And that time, he had to play a one-handed return. Just chipped it gently down at Sampras's feet. Sampras mixing that serve up well, out wide, only 110 miles per hour. Second set. Well, that's the kind of tennis Sampras plays when he's playing winning tennis. He's using the serve and volley, what he does best at the right times. On, 
Sun starting to set here late in the day in Houston Texas the lights are on I think sort of a tough time to play leaf because it's not totally dark. No. Agassi just a step slow in getting to that shot. And again, in the wind, the ball moved on him. Just over the baseline. And we're looking at a couple guys who have an awful lot of Grand Slam titles. Yeah, plenty of Grand Slam silverware. Agassi seven, Sampras 13. Some reasonably good players included in that list, huh, Bear? Indeed. But Agassi, with that French title, with all four of the majors, which Sampras does not have. Oh, yes. Great control down that line. Just kind of eases that ball. Now, watch this two hander. Yeah, the ball's dying in the wind. Very tricky ball to handle. He does a good job with it, though. 30 15. <laughs> Sampras's arsenal, that forehand cross court for a winner. Yeah, this is good. Again, it's got a little bit of angle to it. Notice how he finishes high. He gets over the top of the ball to bring it down and cross court. <laughs> if you're any sort of tennis fan, you know these two names. Amazingly to think one of these guys has been in the top 10 every year, every month, every week, since May of 1988. Remarkable. Oh. Agassi holds. And Andre Agassi now, 3-2, second set. Sampras with the first, 6-1. Huge turnout here at the West Side Tennis Club for semifinal action from the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships. As Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras in great atmosphere. Live jazz music up on the stand. The Bryan twins, the great American young doubles team, were out right here before the match started. Bobby playing the piano, Mike on the drums. It was quite a sight. Now Agassi. 3-2, second set. Sampras creeping in with a few more unforced errors in that second set. That's 11. It's a let. Opportunity there for Agassi, and that's one of the worst returns we've seen him hit. No. Well, that high balancing serve is paying some dividends. I mean, Agassi's trying to do something with it up there. But that is a tough ball to play.
Let first serve. Takes a chance, goes out wide. The second double of the match. along with Lee Shiras bringing you semifinal action from the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships, Houston, Texas. Andre Agassi taking on Pete Sampras. Sampras with the first set, 6-1. We are at two games all, second set. Game set. Sampras holds ace number five. Uh, Sampras looking good. He's always said you need three things to be number one. He said you need the game, you need the heart, and the mind. You know, some guys, he says, have a little bit of two of those, you know, two, maybe three of those things, just a little bit. But to do it for six straight years, he says, you need all three of those. Now, Pete Sampras looking over at Andre and saying, hey, hold on, I'm going to change rackets here. Obviously, a string is about ready to break. Second set, Sampras with the first, Agassi to serve, seventh game, second set. That's wide. the French championships how different is Agassi's game to Moya Carecha Ferrero does he play that much differently and Sampras is playing very well here tonight yeah no I mean Agassi flattens the ball out a lot more than those Europeans they tend to play with more topspin that's the kind of games that really gives Sampras trouble it's interesting in other words Agassi's style maybe suits Sampras better you yeah, know I not on that point. Well, no, but you know, I think Sampras likes the pace, and he is in such a good groove when And when Andre is hitting the ball flat. But this one, just too good. It's about as good as you can hit a two-hander cross court. Agassi now getting in the groove here. Thirty love. Oh. Wasn't out by much. Right on the baseline. Oh, it's just remarkable how many of those we've seen tonight. I mean, these guys hit the ball on a dime. Right inside or on yeah. the line. Ooh, Andre thought he had the ace. Chicks with Norm Christ. It was a fault. Some fantastic touch from Agassi on that little two-hander, the angle wide. Oh. 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 That 
Corey will go wide. I love to see him run around that shot, a la his wife, Steffi Groff, who hit that forehand pretty well in her day. Maybe you talk Steph about, you know, Pete and Andre having some Grand Slam <laughs> singles titles. How about yeah. Andre and Steffi? Well, she's got 22 of them. Would go long, and Agassi holds. Four games to three. Agassi second set. Sampras with the first six-one. Stay with us. Can Agassi come back? Get in this match. Maybe win the second set. It's always a busy weekend in sport, so tune in on Monday nights for the weekend's most comprehensive wrap. 7.30, join Mike Gibson and the crew. Always topical, always sport. The back page. 8 o'clock, Laurie Daly and Russell Fairfax analyze every game every week on NRL Scoreboard. I don't believe what I've seen! 8.30, Greg Clark brings you up to speed on the world of rugby union with the Super 12 wrap. The back page, NRL Scoreboard Super 12 wrap. Monday nights from 7.30 on 1. Tell you what, if you're sick of your kids sitting around the house all day long and getting into mischief, why not get them into Mini and Mod League? Each weekend, the future of the NRL is on show. Thousands of youngsters playing Mini and Mod League or wanting to be the next Brad Fittler. The introduction of Mini and Mod football has seen uh, a great uh, expansion of rugby league where many children are now saying, I can go and have fun, I can play the game, enjoy the new skills, and we've seen that in the players that have gone right through the NRL. They were products of mini and mod football. Another thing is I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to lift Blake up and throw him on the ground. or Kids need to play a kid's game, and the rules of mini and mod are designed to suit the skill level of all. He's allowed to surrender in the tackle, he's allowed to say hell. As well as being safe, it's so fun and... and uh, good for the kids as well as fitness and, and the friends they meet too. Recent studies show that boys and girls who play mini and mod league, which is from the ages of 6 to 12, is as safe as any other sport that they could play. So come on mum, I reckon your kids would love to play mini and mod league, so why don't you give the Australian Rugby League Foundation a call? You legend mum! Spring in Paris means tennis at Roland Garros. These famed clay courts herald the second Grand Slam of the year. And the Eiffel Tower won't be the only thing to rise above the crowds. That's it. Great serve. What a tremendous point. He's a showman. I love him here. Over 190 hours of action with minimal interruptions so you won't miss a shot. Daily live coverage of the French Open starts May 27 on 2. Four games to three, Agassi leading in the second set. Sampras with the first 6-1. I'm Barry McKay along with Leif Shiras bringing you semi-final action from the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships. A look at the draw as Roddick already in the finals. Yeah, Roddick has played well here. Again, he defending champion. He's never lost a match at the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships. Sampras taking out his buddy Todd Martin. And Andre Agassi comfortably threw on the bottom. So these guys squaring off for a chance to get after Roddick and try and dethrone the teenager and Roddick told us earlier Leaf, he would come out tonight to watch this match live I have a feeling he is somewhere in this crowd watching a couple of his idols from his boyhood <laughs> 15 love a tactic that has really worked for Sampras tonight. He's stretched out well wide to deliver that first serve. And if you don't get that return back yeah. cross court sharply enough, he's going to tee off on the forehand. He is about six inches from that single sideline. That's where he's got to serve inside of that. 
wonder if that's a little whisper from Jose Higuera saying, no. hey, try something different. No call. Looked like it hit on the sideline. Agassi will have a look. Norm Christ ready to come down. It's an ace, number six. These are the kind of games as a server that you love, Leaf. Quickly to 40, love. Trying to conserve some energy here. Crucial now. Trying to get to four all. Sampras would love to close this game out quickly. Game point. For all those folks that play on a Sunday and bounce a ball and it goes off their foot, happens to Pete Sampras <laughs> as well. Don't feel bad out there. Sampras holds. Four games all, second set, U.S. Men's Clay Court Championship semifinals. Andre Agassi on the far side, taking on his old rival, Pete Sampras. Sampras with the first set, 6-1. Four all in the second. Even though Sampras is playing against the wind, Leaf, I think we might see him take some chances on this game here. Well, that's a nice second from Andre. Sampras trying to cheat to the middle, get around and hit a forehand. I guess he caught him. playing one of the best games he's played on his own serve. Yeah, this is a tough shot. He's got to get the ball up over the net and down quickly. Plenty of pace behind it as well. Sampras, an inside out forehand. It's interesting to look at Sampras's racket there as he checks the string. Only 85 square inches on that racket head. 80, 80 to 85 pounds of tension. Agassi holds. And Andre Agassi now up 5 4. When we return, Sampras serves to stay in the second set. U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships from Houston, Texas. A festive atmosphere and a festive night here in Houston, Texas. As the number four seed, Pete Sampras, this young man from Las Vegas, Nevada, Andre Agassi, going at it for the 33rd time in their great rivalry. Sampras with the first set. And Agassi trying to make a big comeback here. Leads 5-4 in the second. And Leaf, maybe the biggest game of this match coming up right here. Yeah. I guess he could just get a little bit of an edge. That's early. right. Agus has played his way back in it. Let's see if he can make a dent here on the Sampras serve. Sampras serving with the win. The sun has set in Houston as Sampras holds up new tennis balls. 4 5. Wow. Look out. Wow, Sampras about ready to hit one of those patented 
air sample shots. Thought better about it. Let it go long. He's hurt himself doing that in the past. Ace. That is the first time we've seen him go down the center with that wide approach. Yeah, and just by looking at the toss, you thought he was going to go out wide again. Yeah. But he really crossed Agassi up, went down the tee. Ace number seven. Wow. Great touch from Sampras. Well, when you get all first serves in, tennis becomes a little bit easier. Gives you plenty of options. Help! And the quickest game of the match on serve. Sampras, four very quick points. Game's all second set. Getting down to the wire here. This could be a tiebreak set. Well, Sampras has won 14 straight points on his serve, so he's really putting together an impressive run off the serve. A lot of first serves and backing it up well. Pressure on Agassi here to take care of his own serve. Sampras has the wind at his back now. I think he may take some chances on second serves here. That's a let. Hits the forehand. A bad error there, Lee. Yeah, that, that's just a shot you cannot miss. Again, something of an awkward bounce. It got up into his yeah. body a bit. But still, that's a shot he'll make 99 out of 100 times. Makes no mistake on that one. Well, the score could be 40 love now. on the left, Darren Cahill on the right. Look on. Agassi's coach and trainer. Yeah, this could have been an easier game for Agassi, but he's made it tough on himself. Business end of a set like this, you cannot be giving away points like Agassi has here. And a fault. Let's see if Sampras opts to attack this second serve. He's well in on the baseline. Looks like he might be thinking about coming in behind this second serve. Sampras is broken. 
after a 30 long lead. Sampras now 6 5. Sampras serves for the match. see with 31 unforced errors and only 13 winners at this point in the match second serve that's going to go out solid start for Agassi love 15 this crowd wants to see more well, Sampras trying to just put a little pressure on Agassi what a service return under immense pressure. One of the best he's hit all night. Oh! No, Sampras again tries that ace. This time, it's wide. That was not wide. Let's have a look. If it holds, it's ace number eight. And it will. Oh, what a play from Sampras. Second serve. Oh. He fires an ace right down the middle line. At love 15. Oh. Wow. No. That's wide. Again. It's good. Agassi stays alive. Listen to this crowd. Second serve is third double of the night. Can you believe that, Leaf? Well, earlier in the game, he came up with an ace on a second serve. Live by the sword, you can die by it. Wow. Unbelievable shot on match point. It's deuce. Sideline. 
Ace number 10 for Pete Sampras. Open court. Once again, match point. Sampras changes his mind, moves to the center. This is just so good. That's not a bad second serve. And Agassi just so strong in the hands. Watch how he gets his cross. It may have even touched the net court. Mm. Barry, that last point, oftentimes the toughest one to win. Yeah. wondering whether he should step out, try bouncing one in high, getting the forehand into play. Now for the fourth time, Pete Sampras at match point. He likes to go wide. Changes again. It changes again. Scoops it up and plays a miraculous pass. Look at him. A little bit of body English. It's in. How many thrilling moments can these guys deliver? This, the 13th point of this game, the longest game of the match. Surely this must be the one, Barry. Fifth time, match point for Sampras. How many chances do you get? And there it is. Sampras. Ace number 11. for Andre Agassi as he leaves this center court very quickly. And Sampras, they're still on their feet. 6-1, 7-5 and leap. A tremendous match between two great champions. Uh, again, these guys delivered when it counted. I'll tell you, a great moment for Sampras. He hasn't won a title in a year and 10 months. So tomorrow he's got a chance to make things right. They are still on their feet here, and a big smile from Pete Sampras. A fantastic semifinal. The 13-time Grand Slam winner, Sampras, wins it in straight sets. And so from all of us here in Houston, Texas, and for my colleague, Leif Shiras, I'm Barry McKay. And we have seen some great tennis in Houston, Texas. Andre Agassi who the crowd thought was going to win this match, 
doesn't quite get it done. Sampras the winner. He moves into the championship match. So long, everybody, from Houston, Texas. Thursday at 7, catch up with Australia's best sports news. Greg Clark and Greg Martin take us for an in-depth look inside rugby. At 8.30, it's playoff time.